time for a very important guest, albeit posthumously. Today we can hear from Arthur Ransom after recordings made of the celebrated author of the Swallows and Amazon series have been unearthed and removed from their crackles. Uh, they've been remastered by the man who's moved into his last house in the lakes, Hilltop at Haverthwaite. Our reporter Jenny Dennett's been for a listen. The benign moment. From across the decades comes the voice of Arthur Ransom. The benign moment is difficult to define or explain, though every fisherman knows it. It's a recording from 1956, one of seven clips in which he puts voice to his passion for fishing, reading mostly from his 1929 book, Rod and Line. It is like one of those sudden silences in a general conversation. When, in England, we say an angel passes... And in Russia, in the old days, they used to say a policeman is being born. The day is not that day but another. Everything feels and looks different. The fisherman casts not in the mere hope of rising a fish, but knowing that he will rise one, concerned only to hook it when it comes. He knows that even the hooking of it is more likely than at other times. Weather, river and fish seem suddenly to be on the angler's side and prepared to do their best for him. The content is all about fishing, but if the subject matter doesn't hook you, then Ransom's elegant phrasing and it transpires his cut-glass accent might reel you in. Fishing is not like billiards, in which it is possible to attain a disgusting perfection. The recordings have come to light thanks to Stephen Sykes, who's bought Ransom's last house in the Lake District at Haverthwaite. Well, welcome to Hilltop, which is uh, Arthur Ransom's last home, and um, I can now take you up to Arthur Ransom's study. It's an absolutely glorious property. Look at this polished slate floor. It was here in this big stone house with sweeping views across to Coniston, where he settled with his second wife, Evgenia, until his death in a Manchester nursing home in 1967. Wow, what a view. On a good day, you can see um, uh, from the, uh, the mountains in the northwest, the old man of Coniston, and we've got several photographs of him actually um, in this position, uh, his desk was actually here. Uh, Sykes is a former financial analyst, novelist and astrophysicist from Tunbridge Wells and he's retired here with his wife Janine, an optometrist. Together they're restoring Hilltop as a B&B. So how did you come across these recordings? Uh, well, I found references of them um, uh, in the catalogue entries for the British Library uh, online. Uh, then I found um, other references and it turns out that the Arthur Ransom Society has a private recording, a CD. Uh, the shorter ones are, um, he's reading from his book uh, Rod and Line. Um, and the longer recordings, I presume that he just scripted them for the BBC. But if one's not a fisherman, one needn't worry about this because they're just very sweet stories connected with fishing. And he's such a wonderful uh, writer and he reads in this wonderfully uh, old-fashioned way that you're drawn into them and they're, they're, they're almost hypnotic to listen to. What do you make of his voice? Because he's from Leeds, but he does not sound like a Leeds boy, does he? No, his voice is rather surprising. Well, in actual fact, because there are no other recordings uh, of his voice, it's difficult to know what one does expect. But in actual fact, um, I suppose they, they place him right back into the 1930s. Um, I guess they do sound very evocative of the Swallows and Amazons period. So now Ransom's voice is out of the archive and decrackled thanks to some desktop mixing. What does the man who's laboured over it want us to make of it? It's nice to just uh, find more information out about such he was an important author um, and to find new information out about him uh, after all this time I think is exciting and it, it just shows another aspect of Arthur Ransom. And the last word of course must go to Mr Ransom, children's author, foreign correspondent, storyteller, sailor and devoted fisherman. No fisherman need ever feel that a pet theory of his own has been finally refuted. That was Jenny Dennett reporting and uh, Arthur Ransom ending that report. Didn't expect to say that today.